In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your sky more dramatic. From looking like this, <laughs> there is like no dramaticness at all, to something like this, by just using Lightroom. Yo, 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 Karla Freta. My name is Arnold Lund and I'm a photographer and a video creator from Iceland. A few years ago, I made a video showing how to make a dramatic sky in Lightroom. Recently, Lightroom made an update, making this process so much simpler and overall just a fantastic way to do this. So I'm going to show you that, as well as a little bit later on in the video, drop a few extra tips and tricks on how you can make your dramatic sky even better. Welcome to Lightroom. So this is the photo, the end result of the photo that we're going to work with. Without the sky, and it, it looked like this, so you can see... The photo was a little bit, uh, I, I, I overexposed it a little bit when I shot it, and here is the raw photo completely. Now we are just going to work with the sky, so I think this could be a little good tool here. Now in order to bring back the sky, we will have to create a mask. Before this update, we will probably have to like paint on the mask or use a gradient filter to drag it on, which is my preferred way, and then paint off on the uh, you know subject itself. However, look at this. So if you go up here to the where the like masks are and click the plus sign here, you can go select sky. Click that, give Lightroom a few minutes to think and boom, you like it's created the mask for you. Here you go, you can see the mask. So if you press O on your keyboard, you can see where it's affected. So it, it's just for me in just a few seconds selected the entire sky. This took a little time, you know, making this perfect. Now the machine is doing it for us. Perfect, love it. Now, if you feel that it didn't do a perfect job, you can always zoom in. So you can zoom in here, and on the mask itself, if you click it, you can either go to plus or minus, so you can go to minus, and then select a brush, and now we have a minus brush, so if you want to take away the mask somewhere, for instance here, you can see it's super, super in... <laughs> what the hell is happening with my with my mouse here? So you can see it's super, 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 super simple doing it like this here. Uh, this is obviously just for the sake of the tutorial now, so you press Ctrl Z to get that all back, okay? And same thing if you want to add something, you just click plus, and then brush, and now you can add the mask wherever you want. So, I think this, I think like for the sake of the tutorial, we, we think this is pretty good. I might like take away a little bit here, but I think for now, let's just have it like this. So the main sliders that I work with when I'm like retrieving the sky and get, making it more dramatic is one, the exposure of course, dragging down the exposure to like take away and get more information back in the sky. I'm also using the dehaze slider, this one here, and I think this one really puts oomph in the sky. It like exaggerates the sky, making it super, super, super cool. And then also the clarity. I think the clarity also, if you play around, around with that, it also makes a lot of oomph in the sky. Now, obviously we can all agree on that this is too much, <laughs> like you can have it like this, yes, this is super, it's just unnatural. However, I wanna like um, just encourage you to do whatever you want with your edits. If you look at this and you're like, this is awesome, I like it. Cool, do it, you know. Um, so, so just slide them how much you want. But for me, this is <laughs> definitely a little bit too much. So what I would do with this one, I would probably usually, like I usually start with the dehaze, drag that up a little bit. I, I think that the sky is also a little bit blown out in the highlights. So what I can also do is to drag down the highlights. You see how that like makes the highlights softer. I mean, you could do the whites too, but I do this very like very sparingly with the whites. So we drag down the highlights a little bit, little bit down the exposure. And I'm basically just working these sliders until I find like a sky that I think looks pretty good. So maybe somewhere around here. What you can do, now this also depends on what sky you're working with and how that sky looks like. But I also sometimes mix with dragging up the white somewhere because that might also, you know, you're taking the dark parts of the sky, making them darker, but sometimes the entire sky just gets too dark. So if you drag up the white slider on some skies, that will oomph it a little bit more, making a more contrast in the sky. So the darker parts become darker and the brighter parts like get a little bit brighter. And I think that is something that you can experiment with definitely. So let's say that, like for the sake of tutorial, we do it something like this. And if we, uh, where is that in the new part here? If you go back and forth on this, you can see that this huge, huge, huge different. Now I think that the mask is actually a little bit too much on the, um, the uh, ridge here so i would probably remove that a little bit let me just give me one second to do that 
a cool tip that you can also have is to keep the auto mask on. If you click that, it, then, you know, if you go out of line, it's going to keep the mask. It's going to try its best to keep the mask on there, you see? So I think that is, uh, that is pretty neat to know. And this to me looks pretty good. Now you can see that the, the mask is not uh, as much affecting the tops and the mountain is more coming through and we're just affecting the sky. It's super, super, super simple. I might do something more, but this is a nice base. Remember that I'm not happy when people do sounds like that outside of my studio. You saw that face? <laughs> the Viking gets angry, you know? But where were we? We were talking about the, this is some, like a delicate mixture of using like the dehaze clarity and exposure as well as you know the highlights and and you just slide them accordingly here are a few tips that i would also do so for the sake of the tutorial let's say that the main mask the big mask here is finished then i would like to add a new mask here and use a brush and i would brush a few places that i want to like make a little bit extra dramatic so i think that this place here is you see here where the clouds come here good place maybe i would even like to take this cloud and you just pick a few places where there's i think you know i want to make a little extra dramatic here like maybe here maybe here um and a few places it depends on of course the sky that you're working with and then those places i might drag up the uh, the dehaze just a little bit uh, or or even with here i usually do a little bit of 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 clarity just a tiny bit um and and then uh, maybe even down the the exposure now that this this wouldn't work but what this does it just makes sure that those little extra places that you paint on with your brush they get a little extra oomph another thing I also do with the the bright the brush tool is to add another one and i think this place here this is too overblown so if you see here now you can see what places you see if you hover over this triangle it shows you where on the image you are blown out okay so you can see here that this place it's blown out it's too white so those places though sometimes happen especially like this photo was a little bit overexposed in the beginning i basically just paint them a little bit like so and i find them i think this is good and then i basically just take down the white just ever so slightly and take down the highlights until we get the information back there let me see something like this it's still a little bit so we might paint here a little bit less see much better and you can see now how this is not as a blown out isn't this good think uh, this is perfect and here you can see the mask what it has done from this to this in a matter of seconds <laughs> it's fantastic right is there anything else yeah remember also on the main mask if i go back to it it's here i i said that in the beginning but sometimes i like to take up the whites just a tiny bit to make the contrast from that but blacks and whites another thing you can also do on the main mask that I didn't talk about before is that if you want, maybe your sky becomes too blue when you do this because dragging up the down up the, the haze might enhance the colors. And you think like, oh damn, this became way too blue. Then you can also take down the saturation, making the sky just, you know, taking like draining the colors from the sky. And that I think that can also be sometimes pretty good if you want to create the dramatic sky because they tend to be a little bit more gray. And this is just a delicate balance of how far you want to go with it. Of course, if you take it all the way, this becomes a little bit unnatural. But if you want to do a little bit, that is totally okay. And I sometimes even do that. So this is basically it. Click here, get the select sky. Remember, play with the dehaze, clarity and the exposure. Drag it down, even the highlights. And then you can, if you want, drag the whites a little bit up. Then it's just using the brush to further enhance the, you know, the other place on the sky. I think... Um, so yeah, and that totally depends on what sky I'm working with. Before this one, you can see before and after, huge. Went from being blown out, like, okay, is this good? To we got almost, I should say, all the information back. And if I want, I could even make this sky more dramatic. So my friends, if you could smack that like button for me, it really helps me out. Consider subscribing because, you know, I get a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in comments down below. And last but not least, I just want to say that I super much appreciate that you're still here watching your support. It really means the world to me. Is there anything more? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.